There are a few rules that are important to know. Like other paddle or racket sports, the goal is to hit the ball in play once more than your opponent does. If they hit outside of the boundary lines or into the net, that's good for you. The ball can only bounce a maximum of one time before being hit, so a double bounce means the rally is over. It is also possible to hit the ball before it bounces. This is known as a volley. Volleys can be useful when the ball comes right at your body or when you want to take away time from your opponents. Good players look to use volleys frequently. There is, however, an important exception. Each point begins with a serve. When players serve, they must hit the ball diagonally or cross-court using an underhand motion. The ball must clear the line that is seven feet from the net. This is when the rule known as the two bounce rule comes into effect. The receiving team must allow the ball to bounce and if they hit it back, the serving team must do the same. So the ball bounces once on each side before players may take the ball out of the air as a volley. The serve is hit, the ball bounces on the receiver's side, bounces on the server's side, and now players can hit volleys if they choose. There is one more important rule you need to know about. I mentioned the line that the ball must land beyond when serving. It is seven feet from the net and is called the non-volley line. The space between this line and the net is known as the non-volley zone, although most people call it the kitchen. Recall that a volley is when you hit the ball out of the air without it bouncing first. Well, guess what? You may not volley if you are standing in the non-volley zone. You may not volley if you're in the kitchen. Typically, you will see players come near to the line in order to play volleys, but they will try to stop just short of it so that they don't cause a fault. You may volley when the ball is above the non-volley zone, since it is a two-dimensional surface only. And occupying the airspace is fine. Sometimes new players think that you may not enter the non-volley zone at all, but this is not true. You may enter the non-volley zone whenever you like, but remember, you may not volley if you are in this area. Most frequently, you will see players go into the kitchen if their opponents have hit the ball low and close to the net, so that running into the kitchen is required in order to play the next shot. Just remember to let the ball bounce first so you are not playing a volley in a restricted area. Finally, let's take a moment to talk about scoring. Games are typically played to 11 points, although this can vary a little. When a team hits the ball in play once more than their opponents, they have won the exchange. They will earn a point, however, only if their team happen to be the serving team at the beginning of the rally. If your team is serving and you win a rally, your team earns a point. If the other team is serving and you win a rally, you don't get a point just yet, but you do take the serve away from the serving player. Once you have taken the serve away from both of the serving players, by winning rallies when they were serving, your team gets to serve and try to earn points of your own, while the other team will try to win back the right to serve. Understanding the scoring can be a little tricky at first, but if you are playing with more experienced players, they'll be glad to help you keep track. The main thing to remember is that with regular scoring, your team only earns points when your team is serving the ball. Now here you can see pickleball is a game of patient, attack, placement. There you go. Look at him just going at the body. Quick action. Here's the next point. You return, you go to the net. You keep the ball low. If you pop up, your opponent can attack you in a heartbeat. There you go. Return, go in, placement. Now this point is an amazing point. They're really waiting 
for one to pop up. There you go, a lot of movement, a lot of side to side, keeping the ball in the middle. There you go, nice low ball. And then suddenly you're going to see a guy hit a ball. That's good footwork. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. And it's done.